let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for another day. Thank you for your grace and mercies which are new every morning. Lord Jesus, only you can secure our future. Only you hold our tomorrow. I speak the covering of the blood of Jesus upon each and every believer who is listening. I pray that faith reigns in our lives instead of fear. I pray that joy is in our minds instead of sadness. I pray that peace reigns in our hearts and minds instead of worry and anxiety. Lord Jesus, at this time, let your power fall in our lives. As we call the name above all names, I pray that every feeling of doubt is destroyed. Every feeling of fear is thrown away and every anxiety is no more. Hear our prayer. I thank you for the battles that you fight for me, those seen and unseen. Father, I ask for divine protection. I ask for divine intervention. You know my struggles, Lord. You know what I am fighting against. And so I call for your help. I cannot do this alone. The Bible says in Psalm 32, verse 7, You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. This world can never take away the authority given to me in your word. Your word which says in the book of Luke, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. I thank you, King Jesus, for this authority you have given me to overcome all the power of the enemy. I stand strong in belief. I stand and decree. I stand and declare that nothing will harm me. Nothing will harm my loved ones or my family, my circle in Jesus' name. The devil has no authority over my home. He has no say over my future or my family. He has no power over my health. I trust in you, Jehovah. I say that you are my refuge. You are the chief cornerstone. And I choose to trust in the true and living God. You provide me with shelter from life's storms, from life's difficulties. Lord, you have said you will not allow sickness and disease to come near me. I therefore declare that sickness and disease are far from me. I pray that you protect me and my family from everything we cannot see that tries to harm us. No demon from hell, no unclean spirit, no generational curses, no misfortune will touch me or my loved ones. I set my eyes and my affections on heaven. I look to you, the author and the perfecter of my faith. Your word says that you will keep me in perfect peace when my mind is stayed on you. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life and over everything in my life today. I submit all that may trouble me into your hands. All of my cares and burdens are in your hands. This is another day, O oh Lord. I don't know what it will bring. I don't know what it holds. But be with me, Father. I pray that you strengthen our hearts today. May the Holy Spirit strengthen our faith today. May he remind us that when the troubles of life start to overwhelm us, we have a friend in Jesus. When our problems are many and we need relief, when we need peace, I pray that the Holy Spirit reminds us that we have a friend in Jesus. We serve a living God who is more than able to carry our burdens and give us rest. I know that you are an all-powerful God. There is nothing that is too difficult in my life for you to deal with. You still move mountains and you still cause walls to fall. There is nothing too big for you. And for that, I am grateful that you first loved me. I pray that you give us the strength to rise up each day and to fight against the struggles which seek to weigh us down. I praise your name for you are the God of the impossible. There is nothing too big for you to handle. No problem too great or challenge too difficult for you to overcome. God, you can do anything. I am asking that in the middle of my weakness, make your strength known. Father, with each and every one listening today, we bring before you our burdens and troubles. Help us not to fear, but to trust you. Help us not to be discouraged, but to have joy in you. Help us not to take your goodness and kindness for granted. I declare my faith in your ability to fulfill your promises to me. 
I declare my faith in your ability to fulfill your promises to me. I declare my faith in your ability to fulfill your promises to me. You will fight for me and win the battles in my life. You are mighty, powerful, righteous, and true. Father, the Bible tells me that my words are powerful and the tongue can speak life or death. And so, Lord, I declare that I am strong and courageous in the Lord. I pray and declare that I am protected by the blood of King Jesus Christ. I have nothing to fear because the Lord is on my side. I have nothing to fear because God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I declare that in this season I am in, I will not be destroyed. It will not destroy me. I will not be crushed by any challenge I face. I will not be destroyed by any situation or burden, but I will stand in faith and look unto King Jesus, who is my savior, my help, and a stronghold in the day of trouble. Help me, O oh Lord, to realize that you have blessed me so that I can bless others. I pray that I may help those in need and be a cheerful giver and lend out a helping hand when needed. And thank you for your word which says, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Even Proverbs 19, 17 says, whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord and he will reward them for what they have given. I pray, Lord Jesus, that I may have this habit of lending to you by showing kindness and giving to the less privileged. I pray, Lord, that you would make me a blessing by cultivating the spirit of kindness and goodness upon my life. May I be the one to bring and make a difference. I pray that I may be the bringer of good tidings. May I be associated with good deeds, which encourage, inspire, and uplift lives. May unbelievers in this world see you when they see me, Father. May they see your love for someone who was lost but now found. May they see your forgiveness for a sinner such as me. I pray that every lost soul I encounter looks at my life and sees the evidence of a merciful God. A God who has amazing grace that saved a wretch like me. I declare your word in Psalm 90 verse 17 to be true. The favor of the Lord will rest upon me. The favor of the Lord will establish the work of my hands. The favor and blessing of the Lord will rest upon each and everyone listening in agreement. Upon their families, upon their husbands and wives, upon their children. We claim, we agree with your word and we speak it today. Your favor, your blessings will rest upon us. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. In Jesus' name, amen.